Throughout history, there have been many train crashes where there have been photos or videos taken of the train crashing. Every single one of these was either filmed knowing that the disaster was going to happen, or was filmed by a CCTV camera. But one crash was an exception. Berlin 1C, 1993. It was only four years since the Berlin Wall fell, and the two railway companies, the Deutsche Bundesbahn, DB, and the Deutsche Reichsbahn, DR, had been controlling the two countries' railways. With the DB controlling West Germany, and the DR controlling the East. In the final weeks of March, the Berlin-Blankenheim rail line had maintenance work. The section of the route between 1C and the junction at Ribbenitz was only accessible on several tracks. In the days before April 9th, the track from 1C to Ribbenitz was closed and the trains ran in this direction over the track in the opposite direction. For the increased traffic on Easter days, however, the line operated in regular operation. On April 9th, train IC995, named Leo von Klenz, pulled by DR class 229 number 113, was scheduled to head from Berlin Hauptbahnhof, later Berlin Ostbahnhof, to Stuttgart Hauptbahnhof. Heading in the opposite direction is train D10545, pulled by DB class 218 number 267, from Hanover Hauptbahnhof to Berlin Zuluschke Garten. This train was carrying 700 passengers, including 33-year-old Christoph Thiel. Both trains were scheduled to meet at Berlin 1C station. The section of track had not been equipped with any train radios. We'll get back to that in a bit. By mistake, the dispatcher at 1Z station set the route for the IC995 on the track of the opposite direction. This incorrect track did not allow the exit signal to be set to the correct position. The dispatcher regarded this as a malfunction and activated the substitute signal, the signal he had operated most often due to the construction work in the days before. However, the release track was already being used by the E10545 in the opposite direction. The signal man in 1C tried to stop the trains, but while they had radios, the signal box did not. At this point, there was nothing left that could stop disaster. Around 2.30pm, Christoph Thiel went out to the hallway of his carriage, opened a window and took a picture. That picture was a horrifying window into the future. The two trains smashed into each other. Both locomotives had destroyed front cabs, however aside for that, they were mostly intact. Not so lucky were the coaches, being crushed by the momentum of both trains at 70 kilometers an hour. Three people were killed and 49 were injured, with 29 being listed as critical. It was the worst train crash in Berlin since World War II. Many people were wondering, how could a horrifying train crash like this occur, especially on Good Friday? While the crash was the signalman's fault, it could have easily be prevented by him. As it turns out, the DR had tried to equip the line with train radios. However, the railway, the DDR Senate and the Deutsche Bundespost Berlin had argued for so long over what frequency it should be that it never got done. However, many accidents aren't only caused by one thing, so were there any other factors? The driver of the IC train did not read the entries that were valid that day from the compilation of the temporary slow speed spots and other special features for that week. It's been 27 years since this devastating disaster, and signalman mistakes have still caused crashes such as the Sydenham train disaster of 1953 or the Glenbrook train crash of 1999. 